In tonight's video, we are turning this dash into a flock dash using an electric static flocker. What else could go wrong? I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's crack on with tonight's video. Right, the time has come. Yes, sports fans. This is going to be our first ever flocking video. Flocking this Ford K dashboard for the Enduro K our race car. So we need to show how good we can flock. And this isn't gonna go wrong one bit because the race car is coming on really well, isn't it, Ellie? And you're gonna have to leave because we don't want dog hairs in here. We're gonna have to put you in the van shortly, both of you. Oh, bloody old dad. Right, anyway, back to it. <laughs> I've watched loads of flocking videos. There's loads of applications and stuff you can use. And I thought, nah, I'm not gonna go with the manual stuff. I'm going balls deep with it. So we've got a proper flocking machine. We've got a really good deal out of it and it's here. All right, and this has come from flocking. There's a link in the pinned comment or the description in both. It's always in both. And it'll have this machine. And I am not kidding you. I've literally not gone through any of it yet. This was like the professional kit we bought with all the applicator and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get my head round it and then read the book, read the descriptions. We've got the glues, we've got the adhesives, we've got everything we need to do, the job. We need to get all the bits off the dash that we don't want flocking, so we don't want these to be flocked. We don't want the clock, the bits like that. We've already got rid of the center console. I'm gonna take the glove box off because we don't want to do the handle, so we're gonna get the handle stripped off and then we'll get it all sanded down and treat it up and you've got to lightly sand this because it's hard plastic this one you have to sand it and give it a key and you have to really really clean it down with some degreaser some cleaner so to get all that off so the glue will bond to the dash and then when you apply the flock that'll stop it from peeling off now the dashboards that have got the lever on you clean them up without any sanding because they're breathable and you apply the adhesive and the flock will stick to that without sanding so these ones, if you want this dash doing, this is what we want to be doing on a bit of a So it's quite line. funny that I said electric static flocking because for some reason the microphone decided to get electric static. It's very nice. all the bits off so it's going to be a case of now getting it sanded down getting a good key in it and getting it degreased all the bits are off that we don't want to get covered in flock so it's a case of sanding down and degreasing ready to apply the flock but what we've had done as well sam's printed these off so we're going to glue them on the dash so if you want this doing it's something we can do so it's personal to you i'll use a metal ruler obviously i'll get the s and the a set then i'll use a metal ruler to get everything set because that's going to be tricky to do because they are tiny but that'll be on the dash so when it's flocked over it'll be 3d i might sand these down these might be a bit too thick i might just sand them down who knows that's just going to make it more personal to yourself and your race team or your personal car if you want it as a logo or something like that i'm sure we can print out for you oh, oh i'm getting nervous Right, so we've been watching a load of videos and we're just going to rough the dashboard up a bit more. Maybe with some 180 grit, just a little bit more. And then we're going to use some degreaser and get it cleaned down, some acetone, and get it cleaned right down. We're going to put off the 3D printing thing for tonight. I will jump back on with that. So it's still in the video, but we're going to jump back on with that tomorrow because I just want to get this on so it's curing and I don't want to stress myself out too much from when it's knocked back and we mix the stuff and apply it we've got 15 minutes to get the flock on now we're going to apply it with a paintbrush and then we're going to we'll see, i've seen a lot of the other tubers putting it on with a roller so if it works well if everyone's got a ball dead we can put some glue on and flock your head for you we're going to take the dogs out of the room and we're going to put a car automotive spray sheet down on the floor just so the fibers go on there if this works out really well i might put a little booth up somewhere in the corner in the corner there or get a little shed just outside that we can and just apply this on then walk away and leave it so yeah masks on eye protection on all that sort of jazz let's go for it as they say let's go for it Yeah. <laughs> 
we have the flocking, the epoxy resin and the epoxy hardener. And I don't have a bloody clue how much of this dashboard that we need to mix up. So I'm just gonna mix mix them up and then hopefully if it's enough it's enough. But we've got 15 minutes from when we put it on. Whoa. Yeah, we'll just go for it to thin it down we. Holy moly, that's thick. This is the hardener, so it's 50 50. And I haven't got a measuring cup left, so I am just gonna wing this with a 50 50. No, I'm not gonna wing. I haven't got a measuring cup, but I've marked, marked in the cup, so I know where I am roughly. I'm gonna get some measuring cups, some clear measuring cups again, same as what we use for painting. They don't, mind you, they don't have to be the clean one. The clear one, sorry. I wonder if it's because it's, it's so cold, isn't it? And what I've found now is definitely warm the bottles up, even if you just put them in a bowl with some warm water, because it will make the epoxy resin and the hardener so much easier to apply. So it's mixing up now. I might need to add a bit more. I might have gone a bit too much with the acetone, which is 25%. But I'm gonna add the colour pigment in first. But that takes some mixing that. Mmm, nice. So you add the colour pigment in because the flock is transparent. So you put the colour on of the flock you're doing, which is we're doing black for this application. So you put the pigment in. Well you don't need a lot of that and that's gone black straight away. And I flopped myself. I don't really know how that happened. I need to look into it some more, but I'm well happy. So I think for our first attempt to at flocking, that went down really well. If you want your dashboard flocking, hit us up in the pinned comment. We'll do you a wicked deal, because this is something we want to do for a sideline. 
and we'll see you in the next one. We've been Shine Automotive. Take it easy.